Okay, everybody, we're so excited to welcome our new monarch larva here into the estuarium. So let's talk about their life cycle a little bit. We have received these larvae on their anywhere from their first to third instar stage, which is just the different stages of the larval species before they move on into their metamorphosis. So they will stay in this stage for the next 10 days or so. So in the next couple weeks, we can expect these caterpillars to create themselves their own cocoon. And in this cocoon, they will essentially turn into caterpillar soup. They will take all of their nutrients and all of their body parts to eventually emerge a beautiful butterfly about 10 to 15 days later. Now, the butterflies that emerge this time of the year in the late summer, early fall, these will be migratory butterflies. So these butterflies will live seven to nine months where they'll travel further south for the winter time and they'll spend part of their life cycle before they return back up north to reproduce in the spring. And when they do reproduce, mother butterflies will lay one monarch egg per milkweed plant. So let's take a, take a step outside and take a look at some milkweed plants. So now we're out here in front of the estuarium in our very own little pollinator garden. And I wanna take a moment to take a look at some different kinds of milkweed. Now, North Carolina is home to 16 different native milkweed species. So it can be hard to identify just what these may look like if you are homing your own monarch larva. It's very important that you have this milkweed. The larva eat exclusively milkweed. And what we have here growing in our pollinator garden is a variation of milkweed that we call tropical milkweed and it can be identified by these sort of orangey and red flowers it's the later part of the season so many of them may no longer have their flowers but these leaves are what the caterpillars are most interested in in their life cycle while they spend their time in their larval stages these caterpillars will eat anywhere from two foot worth of these leaves but many of the, our milkweed growing here in North Carolina now, towards the later part of the season, no longer have these flowering blooms. So let's take a second to take a look at some other milkweed and what they may look like. So I'm here with some more tropical milkweed, but what I wanted to show you are these seed pods that you can really identify a milkweed plant, plant as having. This one's broken open and you can see it a little easier. They will always have this sort of fluffy, soft seed pod. And you can see in their later stages, <clears throat> we no longer have any flowers here, but we do have these seed pods growing on top. That's okay. The only thing we're worried about here for the caterpillars are the leaves. This is how to identify some different milkweed species of North Carolina. Here in Eastern North Carolina, we'll most commonly have this tropical milkweed variation, as well as a swamp milkweed variation, which won't have the orangey flowers, but will still look very similar. These are our monarch larvae. They're here, like I said before, in their first to third instar stage. So they're so, so small, but in the next week or so, we, need, we can expect them to grow up to an inch into that fifth star stage that you may be able to recognize. But I've set up our little caterpillar home in here, and I'm gonna show you the best way to do that yourself. So I have taken a clipping of some of that tropical milkweed we looked at before, and it's wrapped in the bottom with a wet paper towel and some aluminum foil. You can use some plastic wrap as well, but at least you can recycle the aluminum. So we've used aluminum foil in here, and I've dampened some paper towels and put them here at the base of my container. This is gonna keep it nice and moist in here. You want it somewhere that they can be a little bit warm. Of course, nothing unnaturally so. Room temperature is just fine. But we have our caterpillar larvae in these little cups. Once they get strong enough, they'll climb out and onto the milkweed plants. And we'll be changing out these milkweed plants, if not daily, every other day, just depending on how many of them make it. Endangered species, and that's exactly what we wanted to do. So, 
we're very thankful for everybody that came out, your donations that you made to the animal shelter, and the tips you left for our ladies. Um, there, you have to remember this is their first flight. Most of them came out this morning or yesterday. It's their first flight, so be nice. They, they may, you know, we don't know how they're gonna do, but thank you guys for coming and let's let our butterflies out. Okay, be chill. Oh, you have another one. Oh, you